Think we humans are good survivalists? We may have some great skills, but other animals have some amazing adaptations that make them into real experts. Stay tuned to the end of this video for a perception challenge. Here in Wisconsin, USA, it's the middle of April and it's still winter. The chickadee is out here in the wind and snow, sharing its world with other birds and mammals. Small, cute, and friendly, they are among the first that will come to a new feeder. And if you sit still long enough with a handful of sunflower seeds, a chickadee may very well be the first one to land upon your fingers. But this tiny bird has long mystified scientists. Because of its small size, it has a lot of surface area relative to its body mass. Translation, it should get cold very quickly. Yet chickadees overwinter here in Wisconsin and even up into Canada and Alaska. During the day, they're active, keeping warm with a hot blasting metabolism. But what about at night when Alaskan temperatures dip down to negative 40 Fahrenheit Celsius and lower? A human being would be dead in a couple of hours without proper clothing, gear, and shelter. So how does this tiny golf ball of flesh and feather manage to survive the night? Folk wisdom had a ready answer. The story goes that chickadees gather in groups at night, huddling together in a hollow log or other shelter. Their mutual heat is shared, keeping them alive through the night. But scientists studying the birds haven't found any evidence for the huddle theory. They have, however, managed to uncover a few of the chickadees' real secrets. First comes a hearty appetite. The chickadee forages for seeds and insect eggs and needs to eat almost constantly during the day. They'll even take to an animal carcass, where they especially relish any fat that they can find. All this eating helps them to gain weight during the day. Wildlife ecologist Margaret Clark Brittingham from the University of Wisconsin found that chickadees weighed in the morning had virtually no body fat. Yet later that afternoon they were bulging with fat. What she observed was the equivalent of a 180 pound person waking up in the morning, eating like crazy, and gaining 18 pounds by late afternoon. Then comes night and all that extra fat is burned to keep the chickadee alive. But even with those fat reserves, the chickadee would be frozen stiff by morning. So they have to find a well-insulated place to sleep. Biologist Susan Sharbo from the University of Alaska Fairbanks fitted small radio bands onto chickadees and followed them to their nightly roosts. All the birds that she studied flew to birch trees and nestled into small holes. Nestled in its nighttime home, the chickadee delivers its final surprise. It drops its body temperature, going into a controlled hypothermia. Their normal temperature of 108 degrees Fahrenheit slips down 10 or 15 degrees. They enter a sort of torpor, reducing their metabolism and shivering to keep warm. This combination of excess body fat, a cozy hiding place, and their ability to reduce their temperature makes the chickadee an expert survivalist. Well, I wish I could do that. But what about those spindly little feet? Why don't they freeze when a chickadee perches on metal or ice? The answer is in another special adaptation. It's called rete mirabile, a thin interweaving of arteries and veins. The arteries carry heart-warmed blood right down to the feet, right into those little toes, keeping them toasty in any weather. And the veins borrow heat from the arteries so that when blood gets to the chickadee's heart, it's already pre-warmed. So next time you see a cute chickadee perched on a branch, realize that it's much more than just a little bird. It's one of nature's toughest survivalists. Okay, here's that perception challenge. Can you find the deer before I zoom in? Did you see them both? Here's another one. Find the deer.
In the comments, let me know any experiences you've had with chickadees. And of course, let me know if you saw the deer before I zoomed up.